tonight. <laughs> Happy Halloween. It is good to be on here. I can't tell you how many times that right as I'm going live, I realize I forgot to upload my announcement slides and that is what happened tonight. So I hope you're hanging out with me. Maybe uh, you have a ring on the door. Actually, we never have anyone, but we had friends stop by and they were going to um, someone else's house nearby for a party. And so they live like, you know, a half hour away. So I was definitely not expecting to see them. So that was a fun treat and likely the only person we will have or the only family we'll have stopped by. And I had just finished telling Brendan, hey, make sure you answer the door because he has this thing where by the time he checks the cameras and whatnot, he like never makes it to the door and people give up and leave. I'm like, if somebody knocks on the door, it's kids looking for chocolate. So make sure um, you answer. He is also going to do our drawing for the page a day challenge. Everybody's names are in here. I painstakingly between six and seven double checked, got the last minute entries, Faith, Dottie, Gina, and um, added them to it. So we will do that in just a little bit. I told Brendan he was on standby. He is uh, my official picker of things like this. And um, so let's get right to it. So in addition to our card class tonight, um, I will be doing some in the feed drawings. And like I said in the post, um, be doing my uh, CM credits, but also I will be drawing for um, three of the trio card kit trios from Creative Memories, the Happy Hauntings. And I realize that it is Halloween right now and you likely will have to wait a year to use them, but you could, um, <laughs> okay, Carol, uh, you could always um, send them late. Maybe, uh, you know, give it to your UPS man or something if you order a lot of Creative memory stuff from me. <clears throat> yeah, that's what I should do because <laughs> you see her every other day for me. All right, so all you have to do to enter is to just like like it, uh, like this feed. Make sure you do that, like it, and then also, um, well, that would be fun. Sure, just change the sentiment, Gina. Um, so, and while you're talking about Christmas cards, so I, I don't usually do Christmas cards as a, my monthly card class. Uh, November will be Christmas cards, but they're going to be like Christmas theme cards, but not Christmas cards. Like for those people that have birthdays in the month of December. So like a little like Christmas vibe, um, but not necessarily Christmas cards and like thank yous for Christmas gifts, um, that kind of thing. So, but they'll have, they'll definitely have a, a little Christmas vibe. <laughs> Yes, today is Halloween. I'm talking about Christmas already. But um, that's why I'm dressed up, Kathy. So just uh, like this and comment and you will be entered to win. <laughs> you can't just say like, Carol. No, I'm just kidding. Thank you for liking. Um, all right. Let me make sure I'm collecting everybody's names over here. Um. I'd like to do it as we go. All right, so we are in good shape. <laughs> yeah, you got me off topic, Gina. All right, so uh, some quick announcements. I don't know why I feel dark. Probably because the hat is blocking the light. Uh, super secret box opening. If you're going to Volano, um, then you will um, be and you purchase the secret box you'll be invited to a super secret secret box opening next sunday um this is just a piece of paper i cut um with the custom cutting system and scissors and it is attached with uh tape runner so likely it will fall off at some point um <laughs> i mean our tape runner is good but you know not 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 for human flesh you know how sweaty I get during these things. Anyway, I 
love I had to peek at the secret box. I love it. Um, so I do have a picture if somebody wants to see it before they commit to buying it. I hate to do that because it kind of spoils the fun, but I can do that. And um I have I I bought extra because I was so jazzed by what was in it. So um I have three more. If anyone wants one, you don't have to be coming to Volano to get one. Um, I have them here already, so you can just let me know. All right. Next week, it's hard to believe it's November. We have Project Recipe on November 7th. If you are a CP, in the reminder email, you will get a link to the PDF. It's actually not a link. You have to copy and paste the HTML into your browser, and then the PDF will come up. And if you ever have any problems with that, just let me know. So that is next Tuesday. Then the following weekend, we have the November virtual crop. And I'd, I'd like to say, because I forgot to announce it, I think, last week, and I checked and I didn't see that CM credits went, but congratulations to Gina because um, she won the CM credits from the October virtual crop. So um, hello, everyone. So November virtual crop is coming up quicker than we think. And so what you do to participate in that is join the Creative Memories Virtual Crop Group. Sketches will be posted on Friday. You have till the following Tuesday at midnight to, um, uh, to submit your pages. I know, Gina, I know my mustache is falling off. All right. It was fun. But it's the tape runner is not good for talking and getting sweaty. Don't, and you know how I get. Um, anyway, so yeah, Gina, congratulations. You should have gotten an email for that. Um, you were the winner. So make sure that you participate in the November virtual crop so you have a chance to win CM credits. All right, so scrappy happy hours, November 12th. If you were watching last week, I advertised this as the pet album class, but that was a custom album that I made and Creative Memories prints every two weeks. So if you're thinking about doing Creative Memories custom eight by eight albums for Christmas, pay attention to their printing schedule. So I wasn't able to get the pet ones in time. So we're going to pivot to a Christmas theme paper album class, which is probably more appropriate. You can do something uh, as a Christmas gift. And I'm working on some different things that you can do with the book. Um, include, you know, like I'll print out maybe like some certificates um, that you can choose from. Uh, we will, there will be a, I, I just think I decided to add a peekaboo pocket to it. Um, so anyway, it's going to be fun. It includes 15 printed photos. So you can text or email them to me and I will print them out. They don't necessarily have to be Christmas um, pictures. They, it's just a Christmas theme. So if you're doing it for a grandparent or somebody, it can just be pictures throughout the, you know, throughout the year or however you want to do it. With some, you know, picture of each person in the family. Um, Techie Tuesday is November 14th. It's at noon. Yay, Casey. Um, we had such a good time last night at our card class, but so we're going to do another scrappy happy hours at Why Not West. It will be a laptop crop. You don't have to have a laptop to attend. Um, you can organize your photos, whether you can clean them up on your phone, your iPad, uh, your SD card. You know how it is. You take a hundred, if you're me, you take a hundred sunset pictures while you're, or sunrise pictures while you walk in the beach. And it takes time to go back through and um, delete the ones that aren't your faves. <laughs> so you can do that kind of thing at Scrappy Happy Hours. And you don't um, that you don't have to have wine. They have beer, they have iced tea, they have uh, all kinds of beverages. So but it is called Wine Not West. So that's the theory. I know, Gina. And of course, I'm there for questions. So if you have any questions about any of the um, you know, different digital scrapbooking programs on there to help for that. And my open house, uh, <laughs> Kathy. Uh, no problem, Deb, glad you're here. So 
my open house is scheduled. It's up on my website, DaytonaAreaScrapbooking.com. So go ahead and RSVP. If you would like a virtual appointment, reach out to me so we can get that scheduled for you as well. You do not have to attend in person. If you are out of town or just unable to, to make it to me, you're sick or whatever, you can still take advantage of the specials that I have going on and be entered to win. So you don't have to be local in town. That's for all of the scrappy friends who follow me on Facebook, YouTube, um, and attend my events. Jumpstart January is off with a bang. Um, <laughs> I, I opened that up that registration. I, 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 I don't even know when Friday, Sunday, and sometime recently in the last week and you all have just jumped on it like gangbusters so that's great we are raising raising money for local veterans um and if you have a veteran who's a spouse i would love for you to bring them for lunch but i i do need you to let me know so i can add them to the count um so let me know if you're bringing a guest for lunch they can just pop in for lunch um and eat with us and then and then leave <laughs> they don't have to stay and we'll be part of the madness all right the retreat to the river st simon's island it raise your hand if you've been before it's an amazing this picture is a picture i took right outside the scrapbooking room beautiful sunsets every night it's amazing i don't know how they do it um, that one is filling up. As you know, I do it with another advisor, Creative Memories Advisor. And so she has people signing up too. So, um, you will want to, um, register for this if you want to go. So you can, um, arrive on Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, and it goes till 10 p.m. Sunday. So I'm be sending it out an email to everyone who is registered to make sure that you book your hotel, which is at the site at Epworth by the Sea. And so look for an email about that. Or you can just go straight to the link um, at DaytonaAreaScrapbooking.com. Click ahead to January. And on the event page, you'll see the information and the link to book your hotel. Yay, Gina. All right. So many thanks to those of you who subscribe to my YouTube channel. I appreciate that, especially if you're here because you have a card kit um, and you're like Carol and you're answering the door and you got to do it later. Um, or maybe your life is just really crazy and you're going to do it in four months. My YouTube channel is the easiest place to find them because you can go to my YouTube channel and go straight to my card class playlist and look for the month that you're looking for. So it's very... It, that's the easiest way. Facebook, I, there's so many posts, it's really hard to find, especially if you have to go back a couple months, if you know what I mean. All right, so if you're hanging out and watching and you haven't commented, make sure you like and you comment so that um, you are entered to win. And let me see if Brendan can is, is nearby. Hey, Brendan. Oh, he's here. I told him he's in a, I, what's the Adams family, the little hand? Cousin it? No, that's the thing with the hair. Somebody on here will know. <laughs> okay, wait. Uh, let's see. 34, 24, 22, 11, 10, 8, 7, 3, 1. So 120. This is for the page a day challenge. It ended at 6 p.m. today. Wait, don't go anywhere. That wasn't why I called you. You have to do the drawing. <laughs> Sorry, talking to Brendan. Thing, thing. Thank you, Deb. Um, so the ladies that were participating in my page a day challenge in the Croptoberfest, it's a private group, but they signed up at the beginning of the month to participate. And this is our page count. So 120 page actually 128 because i didn't put mine on there and i did eight pages hey so that's 128 pages that were not complete in the world
I, I'm really not sure if it picked up. Did it wait for me? Are you still there? Oh, goodness gracious. Well, so Spectrum, if you're listening, um, that's $85 not well spent every single month. It's lovely. Um, so now I'm tethered to my iPhone. <laughs> so we're back and not happy with Spectrum. Yes, yeah, so Audrey, that my internet totally went out. I'm glad my IT man was standing right here, aka Brendan, when it went down. So he ran off to reboot things. But, hun, I'm using the phone at this point. I'm not going to, I'm not going back to Spectrum. Anyway, he was just about to um, draw. Oh, I know what we were talking about. Gina said, she did the difference between pictures and not pictures. You have to draw, Brendan. Well, I am tethered to my phone at this point. And it's not that there's a, a difference. You got an entry, if, even if it didn't have photos. But I just want people to know that the 128 are like photos, titles, journals. Like they are like done. Like these pages are are. Are, are ready to go. And then we've got 55, 62, 66 pages that are just actually add four more to that 72 because of my um, two page spread for um, from the beginning of the month uh, that don't have pictures yet. So then we have another, what did I just say? 62, 66, 70 uh, pages that are just waiting for the right photos. So that's awesome. What did I say? 128 and 70? That's nearly 200 pages. So congratulations, ladies. That is so awesome. 200 pages, 128 of them. You don't ever have to think about it again. They're done. Done is better than perfect. And um, I have a really fun thing that we are going to start doing starting this weekend. Um, it, it hit me while I was um, working today. We have the little, um, oh, great, Lori. So um, probably National Scrapbook Day, we will, um, I'll do a page a day challenge again, or not National Scrapbook Day, January to jumpstart January. Um, and it'll be like that, Lori. It'll just be pages. The sketches, I mean, not that anyone's going to try to just, you know, show me pages that they did, you know, four years ago and be like, look, I did a page. But um, the sketches is just kind of, you know, you know, it's fresh because people are seeing the, the sketches and, you know, they're submitting it. But the whole point is to get things done. But we are going to do something fun with little... Um, sketchbooks that Creative Memories put out for their birthday in October. We're going to do um, the Sisterhood of the S Traveling Sketchbook. And so more, more on that. So I have everybody's names on these tiny little piece of paper. So put everyone's name and multiplied it in Excel a million times or in Gina's case, 55. And um, then cut them. Uh, oh, I know, Deb. Uh, cut them all into these tiny little strips. And now Brendan, my lovely assistant, or wait, what is it? Thing. Because it's Halloween. He's going to reach in there and pull out a name. And you're not going to believe it because this is for 100 uh, CM credits. And this person <laughs> has won multiple times. And it's. Can you read it? Can you read it, Faith? Congratulations, Faith. She has been uh, burning the midnight oil when she came to um, the laptop crop last week at Why Not West. She said she's got a table up in her living room. She's been binge watching things and staying up late after work, scrapbooking. So congratulations, Faith. 22 pages, way to go. I will put that in your, um, <laughs> I will put that in your, um, in your account. So congratulations. Okay. 
So Croptoberfest is almost done. The ladies that are participating in the page a day challenge, well, even if they didn't get a page done, if you're in the group, then you're trick or treating with me after this. And we better get going with that outage. I don't want to be late for trick or treating. I know she always, oh, she is so, she is, she has the, 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 the universe wanted her to have that for sure. It's amazing. All right. So let's get card making, shall we? Sorry, everyone, that you've been patiently waiting for cards to be made. Let me switch my, um, let me switch my camera over here. We need to go to the other camera. All right. Wow. You used up a bunch of, uh, a bunch of your supplies, Faith. You're going to need some tape runner for sure. So congratulations. All right. And we still have more to give away. So sit tight and don't forget to, um, comment and like so that you're entered. All right, let's do it. All right. So let's open up our card kit. I know some of you have yours already prepped. I love seeing everyone's pages, by the way. One more comment about the page a day challenge. And this is just to the ladies, but I see a lot of you um, in the chat right now that are in the Croptoberfest group. And um, go into all the albums and check out all the pages everyone's done. It's amazing. Hi, Shelby. Thanks for hopping on. All right, so you've got this little Croptoberfest embellishment kit, and that was my inspiration. Of course, we got the owls, had my nails done, navy blue. Actually, it just so happened that it coordinated, but it was really for Aiden's cross-country race. Um, so you can take off your uh, foam squares, put them to the side, and our first card is going to be, I always forget what order I make them in. Our first card is going to be this What a Hoot. And um, it's super cute. Now I used the Owl Punch, which sold out at Creative Memories. And I sold out. I got extras, like the secret box that's out right now. But I, I sold them all out. And so if you need to make owls, you're going to have to borrow my owls. Or your friend's owls. Okay, so... We've got our background piece and from in here, okay, now wait, let me talk about this little, this little, this is prime cat food right here. Um, Deb, we open it, well, technically we don't open it till the virtual crop on the 10th, but we'll have a super secret, secret box opening in Volano on the 5th so I can zoom anyone in that wants to be zoomed in. I'll email everyone. So this little, this little baggie has your wings and your eye pieces and your nose pieces. These are the tiniest little pieces ever, and they look like um, scraps. They're all together in here. So you're going to need um, some light brown eyes. And remember, it's on reversible paper. So one side is going to be this blue. So you might see blue eyes, but on the other side is the um, the tan, and then we want the dark chocolate nose and the dark chocolate pupils, and then two light colored wings. Now I changed up the color of the branch so that it would pop a little bit better on this card. So your branch will be this lighter color branch. And then of course you have your background for the what a hoot. And I had to do this in one of the summer card kits as well. I had to scan, I took a, I took a picture of the what a hoot and uploaded it to, um, Brendan told me the why internet's back, but I don't trust it. So I'm going to stay on my phone if that's okay with everyone. Um, so I had, and then I made, um, oh, my brain, what's that called in Cricut? where you have make the outline. So I had to do that for this exact um, embellishment in here. 
So that is just one of the cool things you can do with your Cricut or your Joy um, is do the little outline of, of anything. So this was not, you know, in Cricut. I just took a picture and made sure it was the right size. So that's what the What a Hoot is. And then we're going to attach our little owl with some of our foam squares, put them anywhere you want on the branch. And, but let's attach all this first and then we'll work on our owl piecing him together. So this part is pretty straightforward. You're just gonna use your regular tape runner. And I'm gonna just use my mini tape runner. Blue on blue, that's exciting. I can't even see where I'm going. Here we go. The mini tape runner is perfect for this type of little branchy thing. Cause see the mini tape runner just is this little tiny line. Looks like I went off road cause I couldn't see what I was doing. I should attach, before I attach the branch, I'm gonna attach the what a hoot. Oops, not with the mini. Um, so that, whoops, so that I know where I want to put the branch. Now, you might want to put your branch a different way. That's okay. I was going to say like this, but it's not really long enough. But you do you. I mean, your card, your way. All right. So I am just going to do like this and then we can assemble our um, owl. Okay. So I said we needed the chocolate nose and then we need, I'm going to just dump them all out for fear of them getting lost. I don't have any cats. So that's good. So we want the bigger part to be actually all four of them are the same. It looks like you have four of those. And then you have black pupils and brown pupils. So you want to use the, the brown ones. And then all your wings are the same color. However, you want to make sure that you're using a left and a right. So they are, they do go left and right like you can't if you tried to flip this over then it would be blue wings and you could put blue wings on your owl if you want to now the wings kind of nestle right into this little spot here so you'll see there's little there's little little bumps that they fit in so you're going to build your little your little owl like that, and then you can use you can use your um, adhesive of choice. Um, you might want to go with either the precision point or the repositionable. Not that you have to reposition, but just so that you can um, manipulate them easier. And as usual, I fight with the nails, which I mean, I, I had them for most of the year, I don't know, because of Ireland and the wedding and whatnot. And then I, I kind of missed them. So I get it. You ladies that have yours done all the time, I really did. I, I did miss them. So I brought them back. All right, so now I'm gonna actually put precision point right on the bigger eye and where I want the nose to be so that I can, um, this is where I wish I had one of those lifter sticks handy that I'll be giving away because um, they are so handy but they're across the room and we already were delayed for internet outage. 
So we're not going to. Okay. So there is your owl. Now you can manipulate the, the pupils um, and kind of, they're kind of both going in, which, which I like. So he's like kind of cross-eyed. Oh, you did, Jacqueline? <laughs> Dottie. Yes, these little pieces. Yes, I'm sure it is. All right, so I am now going, I'm going to lift up my owl. So I sent you kind of a variety of sizes this time. This gets dangerous with all these little pieces. Don't lose track of all your little owl pieces. Look at, I have this other owl piece sitting up there. I do just love this owl and I think he's darling. And if you haven't seen my Facebook live where I showed other little creatures you can make out of the owl. Um, oh, wow, Anita, that's great. We have no one, but you guys, your neighborhood is one of those neighborhoods that's just known. Like people love to go to your neighborhood. I don't know. I just went overboard with my adhesive. And now, because of my nails, I can't get it. All right. All right. So we're done. What a hoot. That'd be a fun birthday card. Next up are these um, feather, is the feather card. And these I cut out on the Cricut with Creative Memories cardstock. I just love them. This is a type of thing without, without a sharp blade, whew, you could, that, that could end up being a disaster. Um, but this is kind of our fun fold card. So you're just gonna go, you have this, it doesn't look like much, but this is your base. And then you've got your two background pieces, your two feathers, um, now we need to fish out this birds of the feather flock together tag and the other leaf. Ah, Gina. Yes. Brilliant. Forgot about tweezers. <laughs> all right. So this is all we need for this, um, for this card. Now this is scored for you. Let me see if I can show it in the light. No, maybe. You should be able to see a score line. So you're going to fold it on the score line. I do have one of these handy right here. All right. And then this piece goes behind, but you want it to be even so that it's the whole front. So it's not going to actually touch on the inside. So what you want to do is put your adhesive on the edge, on the inside edge, as close to the edge as you can. And then you want to put it on this outside edge. Then you want to line these up so that it lines up with the card base and then close it. And then you're good. Perfect. Now we'll add this background, which is some section of the tree paper, or you could use these owls on the other side. Although we do use the owls on another page, on another card, but you're likely not going to send them to the same person unless you have a friend who's really into owls, then you might. And we're going to arrange these le leaves, hello, these feathers, however you want them, <laughs> however you can manage them, however they look good to you. And then you're going to kind of keep them together with, um, with this and then we're going to add on a last little feather over here 
like that. Now I popped up this little feather, so I'm gonna do that. Now I just I like to lay it out so I can see where I'm gonna put things, and then I'm gonna use my repositionable so that I don't have to worry about anything. And now I've got to find the perfect position for these again. I don't think I want them crossing each other. I do think I want them like this. You could also pop this one up if you, if you wanted to. Well, you could do whatever you want. It's your page. But I am going to pop up this little feather here. Sometimes I like to just pop up um, one side of it. So that like, so the, the base of the feather is touching the card, even though it's lifted up. <laughs> I need to start leaving them around like scissors, Dina. All right. So th we're done with that card. Just quick. Moving right along. Oh, this next one's cute. So this combines a couple of my favorite things. These cute little owls. And the Rick Rack Border Maker cartridge. Uh, it's still my favorite release of the year for sure. M maybe of all time. I love it. Now we will use the other owls. So you can switch things up if you want. But like we're going to use the, the other owl on, on this one. Um, the other owl in here. So you can off-road. But you're you might be missing um, you might be missing some pieces later, and I don't think there's another owl. All right, so we also need this tag, and we need this tag. But I use the backside. You know how I like to do that. Um, so everything's reversible. If there's not a print, then it's white. Now, I just thought that that was just too much going on, but you might like it. The fact that the center of this one wasn't white, I think is what bothered me because um, I wanted the white to match and it's kind of like an off-white tan. Um, so I think that's why I use the back. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm going back to, I designed these the end of August. I was on top of it for October, however, I will be designing November this weekend. <laughs> so if you're at Milano, that's what I'll be doing in, in the wee hours of the morning when I'm not, you know, being a pirate. But, uh, all right, so we're gonna put our light blue base down here first. And then our, this beautiful print, I love this blue print. And the light blue gingham on the other side is nice too. Uh, but I love this this blue. I don't know why, but it, it's beautiful to me. So then I'm going to overlap these two like this. And then, oh, I forgot. It's Owl Good. So those are going to go on there like that. We got to, I got to grab out the It's All Owl Good. And I popped that. So I popped this up and the owls. Now for these, we're just gonna, we're gonna weave them through. So yeah, if you have the border maker system, um, I mean, and you only make cards, the border maker system is such a great tool to have. And you know that I use it all the time on our card kits. So 
So we're just going to feed this through. Just like so. So I did cover over the white one. Now these should be trimmed to length, your rickrack. So you'll just position them like so. And go ahead and stick them down once you've got them where you want them. So I'm going to go over... I'm going to put some tape. Actually, why am I making it hard? I'm just going to do some repositionable on these little rig racks. And then I'm going to sneak this one underneath because that one goes underneath. Number. And it's not a challenge for off-roading, but I do. It always is fun to see those of you that can't help it yourself, help yourself, but off-road. It is fun to see what you all do differently with the pieces. All right, once those are on, now it's time to add and I'm going to do like I did before. Kind of. Oh, don't you love when I'm making the card off off camera? <laughs> Okay. So we're going to add that it's all good. And then this little friend. He's going to go, or she, right down there. And that one is ready. Okay, we make our, we'll make our other, we have to make our other owl now. So this is our next card, the owl, um, owl, I'm yours. <laughs> I'm owl yours. And I use another border maker cartridge on this one. And I also used our trimmer in the perforating blade. So that's what you get this little stitching effect. Can you see it on this? Maybe, maybe I can get it in focus. If I try really hard. No. Nope. Can you see it? For the love. Why? I don't know if it's my eyes or the camera. Definitely not in focus. Oh, there it is. Okay, so you can see the little stitching. So that's the perforating tool. And that's just going to lay over this. Now, this border maker cartridge is fun because you can also weave with it. Came out last December. It was part of a promo, and but I, I might have sold my last one. But that's the way. That's that's how we got this look here. And I just I liked the way that looked. All right, so we're gonna we've got a regular base here nothing fancy about about it we're going to put our little owl backgrounds 
I got four different tape runners around here. They're loaded with different things. <laughs> but it's easy to put it down and forget. And then, so this one's going to go on there. And then you're going to put your, your perforated piece right on top. So I am going to use some regular tape to tape this down. Which Again, I, you know, I've seen you work those tweezers, Gina, and they definitely, um, uh, it's like, I've seen you work them and it's like a little second, it's like an extra appendage for you. I need to get to that level. All right. Then we're going to add... That about a half an inch from the edge. All right, what do we need to fish out of here? We need to fish out of here the little blue heart. There's a light, a light blue heart somewhere. Here it is. That's gonna go at the top. And then this other one. Now again, that to me was just too busy. And so then I I just flipped it over to the white. Now we're gonna use both of these tags. But again, I'm a flipper. I'm gonna flip it over like that and kind of stagger them. So you might not like that. You might wanna save it for something else, but we are gonna pretty much use, looks like we're gonna use everything but this, um, that one, uh, feather. That's the word I'm looking for. And you can probably add it to the feather card or add it. You know what? I might have added it on the inside of the feather card. Come to think of it. I did. I knew we used everything. Okay. Backing up. I, I used it on the end and I just said, thanks for being part of my flock. So you can add that on the inside if you want. Ah, uh, are we still talking about tweezers? <laughs> all right. So, yeah, there. I knew we used it all. Okay, sorry. I had to backtrack over there. Back to the card at hand. And then this little heart. Whoops. Went overboard with that. And this one I popped up. Because to me, it's like a little clip. That's the way I looked at it. Now, don't cover up the I'm all yours because th that's the whole little sentiment. Now, we are going to cover up. We're going to cover up this little um, owl that's printed on this tag down here. And we're going to we're going to make this little owl instead. Okay. So you're going to use the same, the same eye bottoms. <laughs> You've got this little, could be a blue nose, uh, could be, um, I have it as a little, helps if the finished pay, uh, card was visible for you maybe. Um, So we've got our eyes and then our, our wings are the same. So imagine all of the wings I had to cut out <laughs> to send these card kits out. It was amazing. And the little doses. Oh, my goodness. And the little eyes, all the little things. So I'm going to use my precision point adhesive again to put these little... Maybe. I'm 
And then I'm gonna use my repositionable tape to put these wings on. And you do kind of have to turn them, I think, more than you realize. Um, I should not have attached it. <laughs> because, and I mean attached to the owl because I had to reposition it, that wing. But you fit them right in the notches. So to me, like first, that, that um, wing seems a little tilted. But when it does match right up and it looks cute when you put it on there and when the nose is in the right place and everything else. I didn't I did the first one in a better order. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> Thanks, Anita. Yeah, I sometimes I question my designs when I have to actually prep the card kit. I think, oh my goodness, what was I thinking? I have to cut. He's a, a million wings. All right, so I think I, I, all of his pieces are stuck down now. And that's another one done. All right, we are on to the last card. Hard to believe. But it's this one. All you need is love. And so the person I send this to, that will be the sentiment of the card is you know an i love you card a card of encouragement all right so this one we've got our hot fudge cardstock creative memories cardstock then we've got some white cardstock and then you've got your trees and on the back side is that blue color and so we're using the other side this time. So you can go ahead and assemble those first. And Once you get all those pieces on, you can attach your owl. Now, I didn't pop him up at all. So up to you. You should have some foam squares left if you want to pop them up. Some people, it's like the bling. You like to pop. Some people don't like to pop. Now, with this tree, what I did was I kind of ran it along this white edge here. And you'll notice that the, the, the sides kind of go over. Then I just trimmed them off with scissors. So you can see it just there kind of, I cut, I cut, off, cut them off. But I kind of, There we go. Scissors. Here we go. Kind of go right on along the side there. And then the last thing is to um, add this. And I kind of tucked it under that little, that bow. And just like that. Maybe I want to tuck, maybe I want to bring this one up a little bit because I think my tree was a little further down. So I didn't, I moved that one up a little bit. 
But that is it. So hopefully, at least some of you were making your cards along or maybe you were just answering the door and you're going to come back later and finish that. But that is what we got for tonight. All right. And if there's anyone that's watching that hasn't um, chimed in in the chat, make sure that you um, say hello in the chat. Sorry, I should, could have done this while I wasn't on camera. Sorry about that. Um, so that you are entered to win. Okay, but now it's time to do some drawings. Okay, so I have a lifter stick, um, which is a little pickup stick. It has a little sticky end, so it'd be perfect, especially if you have nails and you can't pick paper up, um, that you can uh, pick things up with it. Oh, thank you, Anita. This is my Halloween uh, costume. <laughs> um, so we're going to start, we're going to start with the CM credits that you have to be present to win. And then, um, I have, uh, Halloween card kits and lifter stick to give away too. Oh, good. Susan, I was talking to you. Oh, good. <laughs> um, great. Hopefully you have fun doing that. Um, I'm so looking forward to this weekend. What am I doing? I am sharing the giveaway tool. All right. So this is for 10 CM credits. Let's see who our winner is. Deb, are you still in here? It's 8.02. Sometimes she has another thing to go to at 8. Are you in here, Deb? Deb? Paging Deb. Yay! <laughs> Congratulations, Deb. I will send that over to you. Um... As soon as we get off here, I need to write myself a note. Congratulations. All right. And let's see. Now we've got some Halloween cards to give away. Lori, congratulations, Lori. Where are my post-its? Aha. Got one. All right. Lori. And let's see who our next winner is. Ruth, congratulations, Ruth. She might have already done these. But she is a card-making woman. So she will have fun with those. All right, next up. Faith. Our big winner. Congratulations, Faith. It's Halloween cards for you. And one more giveaway. We have a lifter stick. Who needs a lifter stick? <gasps> Kathy, do you have a lifter stick already? You are the winner.
Okay, congratulations, everyone. Well, that is all for tonight. Um, I appreciate you all hopping on here on Hall Halloween uh, to hang out with me, do card class, win things. So thanks so much for being on. Thanks for liking, sharing, commenting, all those things. I appreciate you. Um, I couldn't do this without you. So I'm so thankful and grateful. And um, I look forward to seeing 20 of you at Volano Beach this weekend. And until I see you all again, stay scrappy, my friends. Bye-bye.